Hi. I don't know why I'm always in my car when I have something to say, but I want to answer um, a question that people ask me a lot and have especially been asking me a lot recently. And the question is, how come, as since I'm a rape survivor, why is it that I can talk about rape all the time? You know, like not all the time, but I can speak on it a lot because it does mean that I've relived over and over being raped. How come since my brother was murdered, how can I go to Annapolis and talk about it and fight for laws to be changed when every time I talk about anything related to it, it reminds me that my brother really got killed and I'm never going to see him again. Like, how can I keep doing work that makes me relive very traumatic things that have happened in my life? So there are a few things that I want to say about it. Um, one thing is that I really do a lot of work and a lot of practice of reminding myself that I am not my body, that I'm not the experiences that I have had. So while those experiences have happened to me on my journey, those experience are, experiences are not all that I am. They don't limit me. They don't stop me. They don't define who I am. They only define me to the extent that I let them. So I get to this. I do a lot of work to remind myself that I get to decide if something happened to my body against my will. I get to use that the way I want to. Although I felt very helpless being raped. I felt very ashamed and guilty for a very long time. Very helpless when my brother was killed, confused and everything for a very long time. And these are things that I still grieve sometimes, that I still feel in my humanness. And that's the extent of it. I allow myself to feel it, but to let it then decide to limit me in any way, that's the way I draw the line. And I decide that I'm going to do something else with it. The main thing, though is that I was born with one hand and when you so I have a lot of more practice than y'all probably do you know like I walk around like this all the time like and so ever since I was a little girl people automatically judge me mistreat me misunderstand me um decide things about me expect to just be able to put all of their pity on me and you know just not understand why the hell I would show up in the world acting the way that I do you know and so because I have been blessed to be born in this particular body that in this society people were always going to look at and do a lot of mean things to and, and treat me in a way that is not about me but it's about them I have a lot more practice than the average person does. So don't get me wrong. It takes a lot of work. If you're going to be an activist, if you've been through some traumatic experiences and then you're going to be an activist to help heal those things when they happen to other people, help to change society's mind. Public opinion is a motherfucker. Let me just say that. People talk a whole lot of shit without knowing what they're talking about. It's just their opinion and their mind the, from the way they see it. This is what they think. And everybody has a right to do that. But when you have actually been through something and you do the work of working with people who've been through it, you know that trauma impacts everybody differently and in ways that people would never imagine. So their opinions really don't mean shit at the end of the day. I'm used to that. I was born in a body where your opinion does not mean shit to me at the end of the day. It can't. If everybody's opinion about me and how I show up in the world and what I probably am and what how things probably impact me and what I'm probably able to do and if it was them, how they would deal with it. If that's what I used to define my experience, I would be pitiful and lonely in my house just accepting disability checks all the time and I'm not saying anything about people who accept disability checks. I'm just saying that's not my journey. That's not my walk. And so I have a lot of practice realizing that I cannot possibly be my body. I cannot possibly be limited by the things that happen to my body or even things that I've done with my body in my own experience. I cannot stop at, oh, that's the be all end all to me in everything that I am. So some things you can do if you want to learn how to forgive, how to be compassionate, even if it's the things that trigger your own traumatic experiences. Yes go within 
do the work of remembering that you you are an essence that was here before you took a body and will be here for eternity after you don't have a body anymore but at the same time so sad to say you don't have a nub like I do you know what I'm saying it's just some magic in the nub and so I'm I, I'm just grateful that this is the body that I have and that I get a lot of practice having to be me regardless of what people think I am.